Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine has triggered energy and food security challenges with major implications for agro-food systems in Europe and the world. We have seen that Russia and Ukraine are key agricultural players, providing essential agro-commodities to the whole world and exporting 12% of food calories traded globally. Export disruptions in both countries and fears of further production perturbations caused by the war have provoked a cascade effect in international markets. This is exclusively the result of the war actions, including the Russian blockade of Ukraine's ports and the deliberate destruction of Ukraine agricultural infrastructures. The sanctions imposed on Russia do not and will not target food exports. Besides rising energy costs, global food prices were almost 30% higher than a year ago, today, May 2022. In parallel, the prices of fertilizers have more than tripled in the last two years. And according to the UN Wood Ford Programme, the number of people suffering acute food insecurity could increase by 47 million this year. The EU, where food supply is not at stake, has reacted swiftly to prevent a global food crisis. First, to ensure the supply of agro-commodities, the EU granted a temporary extension of cultivated land in the EU in order to increase our own agricultural production. A support package of 500 million euro, which can reach 1.5 billion by member states, is supported EU farmers affected by increased input costs, like fertilizers, energy, or animal feed. The EU is also assisting Ukraine with the EU Emergency Support Program and through the FAO to ensure access to food and preserve their own production. In parallel, the EU is working with about 70 partner countries in developing the sustainability and resilience of food systems to address the root causes of food insecurity beyond today's emergency. Secondly, to ensure the affordability of food, the EU has pledged 3 billion euros of humanitarian aid to populations who are most in need. These funding streams could be increased in the future. It is also supporting the most vulnerable EU households through the European Social Fund and has opened the possibility to lower VAT for basic commodities. Finally, the EU is working to facilitate international trade. It has established alternative logistic routes, known as solidarity lanes, to facilitate exports from Ukraine, with the first objective of unblocking 20 million tons of agri-food products stuck in the port of Odessa, while a more permanent solution is found. The EU is also in negotiations to reduce all refining steps to facilitate food imports by vulnerable and food-dependent countries like Yemen or Egypt. In WTO and other international fora, the EU promotes the transparency and openness of markets, avoiding panic stockpiling and export restrictions. This crisis has uncovered, once again, the inadequacies of the global food system, which remains profoundly vulnerable to climate change, conflict and economic shocks. Action to face the emergency humanitarian situation must go hand in hand with long-term action to build resilient food systems everywhere.